Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. We have a requirement uh, in which uh, we need to run our SSIS package at the end of the day and or you can say we have to run our SSIS package once in a day and load all the files from our local directory to FTP site but before we load that files we want to create a folder with data on FTP server and load the files to that folder which we created with the data so it will be easy for us to manage and it will be easy for our clients to download as well so let me show you FTP server and consider this folder sales folder and we have files all over scattered and if I have 20 or 30 files a day they will be in one month there would be more than 600 or maybe close to the thousand files sitting here and it will be hard if somebody want to extract the files only for one day or want to take a look on a file it will be hard for them to find and open a file here anyways by creating those folders for each of the day it will help us to manage those files and anybody can go ahead and take a look on those files what we have uploaded on the FTP site so in this demo what we are going to do we are going to create a folder with date under sales folder and then upload our files so every day our package will run it create it will create a new uh, folder with the date and load the files to that folder now I have files in the local folder that we will load today first of all we will create the folder and then we will load these four files to that folder let's open SSDT or bids whatever you have according to the version of your SSIS I am working on SSIS 2012 or if you are working on SSIS 2014 you will be opening SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and if you are working on old version you will be opening bids here on SSIS packages click and go to the new SSIS package and first of all we need to create a folder on the FTP site so bring the FTP task here but how we would be telling you this FTP task okay we need to create a folder with this data so let's open it and I will show you here let me take the path of FTP server or the IP address or, or you whatever you have maybe a name for your FTP server and we can create uh, that connection here on FTP connection you click here and then create a connection provide the server name or IP address here we will if we will use these it will throw us error so remove this part and only provide the IP address or like FTP dot your company name dot com so that's how it is going to accept don't provide FTP colon and backslashes that's going to throw us error then provide the username and password and test your connection everything looks good now next part we are going to go to file transfer and here in the operation we are going to select create remote directory and here it will ask okay is the remote path variable we can say no and we can tell under the sales create a folder called 2000 15.0.5.0.8 so once we run this one it will create a folder let me create with old date for now just for 06 so if we will provide this run this one it completed successfully and then if we go to the FTP under the sales refresh it provide the password and username and we see that a directory is created 2015-0506 so that's the directory is created but we want to create a directory with the current date so today is May 8 and that's and tomorrow it will be May 9 and we cannot come to the package every time and put our values here for data we have to come up with some dynamic way to change it so we are going to use some expressions here let me cancel this out and here we will create a variable 
and we'll call remote folder and then we're gonna go and select the data type it's gonna be string go to expressions and hit here and here we will write expressions double quote backslash sales that's our folder backslash then uh, we need to provide uh, the data here how we are gonna do it sorry here if I will just uh, I have to add the plus sign then we can get data is our function from which we can get the data but if I will run it it is gonna throw me error because get data is returning me date time I have to convert this to the string so dt underscore wstr 30 now if you see it did uh, provide me year month and date but it provided me time as well so I am interested to get only the data so I'm going to use a substring and I will get one comma ten so first characters from left so I will get a year day and month now I wanna if I'm okay with the hyphens I'm fine but if I'm interested to replace the hyphens I can do that replace comma double quotes hyphen double quotes comma double quotes double quotes with no space we are replacing the hyphen with no space so that's how we will provide this folder now we can add as we will be moving the files to this folder and we can do one thing we can add that backslash here plus and let's see if that works okay now we are good if we use this one it's going to create a folder and then next uh, we are going to use this uh, expression and move the file here we'll say create folder and then go back open it file transfer here instead of using uh, the, the default value we can use uh, actually see here we don't have to provide the backslash but if we even provide the backslash uh, it might work let's try this out and see if there is no error so we are fine and here we are saying okay true and then uh, we are going to say remote variable yes remote folder that's what we want to do and uh, that's it now this is going to create uh, the folder for us next part we have to move the files so the files are coming from local folder create a variable called local folder and here we provide the path of that local folder go to the folder take that path package it is provide the values and here get an other FTP task so as we can't do multiple operation in one FTP task we have to do do use two FTP task first is going to create the folder with data and next is going to move the files or actually upload the files from local to the uh, remote uh, the, the directory we created with the data so hit uh, FTP task we can select the same FTP connection because it's the same server where we want to uh, upload the file file transfer and here we want to send the file yes and uh, is the local path variable yes but here one thing that we need to notice uh, as uh, uh, here what we will be doing uh, we have to provide uh, the folder path with the file name so we we can't use uh, directly FTP we have to use a for each loop here and that's how we can loop through the file and provide it and also here if a remote path is a variable yes it is and we can say remote variable so here we can use that remote folder because that's what we have created so that's fine and overwrite files at destination yes so that's correct hit ok but before we provide the uh, file with the uh, folder path we have to delete this part and use the for each loop because it does if we will just try to upload it is gonna ask us make a connection to that file so but we have multiple files and we have to load all of them and that's uh, we have to loop through and here what I'm gonna do 
I'm gonna go in the collections and here in the four I, each item enumerator I'm gonna select the for each file enumerator and here I'm gonna select in the expression the fold local path directory is equal to the local path variable or local folder variable and that's uh, fine hit ok and here in the variable I'm gonna get fully qualified path because it will return me the folder path with file name and extension and that's what I can use in FTP so I go to variable mapping and here I'm gonna create a new variable and I'm gonna call it file full path and index is zero because this is the only value we are getting and this is the only uh, uh, column we have it so if we have more than one um, but in this case uh, in the uh, file for each file enumerator we will be having only one but it's in ADO uh, enumerator we have uh, um, values saved in the object type variable and we can add multiple variables and multiple columns and so that's how we can save one row with multiple column values uh, in the multiple variables uh, but if we are using a do enumerator but here it will be straightforward just will be same in the file uh, name extension plus uh, the folder path in uh, this variable that uh, is return from here so that's we are good we are not going to go in subfolders we are going to only be interested to read the files from the main folder so we don't need this one hit okay here in the FTP we will be going to the file transfer and here local variable is equal to file full path and then in the remote folder we are okay we are all set the very first one should create a, a folder second the for each loop is gonna loop through the files and this inside the FTP task upload files to the folder so that's how we will be doing it Let's run it and uh, see if uh, everything works. If not, we will come back and fix it. That's how it uh, will be done. Start. Okay, all good, all green. So stop it and see if uh, the package worked. So go back here. Th these files are in the local, so they will not be deleted. We are not deleting them. And uh, here on the FTP, we want to see if a new folder is created yes a new folder is created for current day and then files are uploaded to that folder so that's how you will be creating your SSIS package and loading uh, creating a folder and here if you see we need to create a variable for remote folder where we will use the expressions to build with the main folder and some data that we want to create and then we will use in the first FTP task to create that file and uh, sorry create that directory and then we will use the for each loop to loop through the files and then here we'll use the second FTP to upload or send those files and here we will use the file full path that we extracted in a variable um, in this variable from the for each loop and here we will use the remote folder so that's how we will do and uh, that's it you will be running this package every night at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock and it will uh, create a new folder move your files or whatever the files you have put in that folder and uh, upload to the FTP thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video